guys, today I'm going to show you how to, how to use variables in Khan Academy. So, first of all, let me teach you what a variable is. A variable is, like, say, you have two circles. And you want to move them both at the same time, but you can't because we have to change both their x's first. So we can't move them both at the same time. But with variables, if we create a variable, we can put the variable in where the x would be, and and then whenever the variable's value changes, it can, it will move around. Both of them will move around at the same time. So how we're gonna make a variable is we're gonna go ahead and make a section called variables. Now all we need is one command. Which is var. Var creates a variable, but we don't have any variable name yet. So let's call a variable x. And we're going to put an equal sign. And we're going to make it 200. And then simple. Now we have a variable called x. Now this part will look a little messy. But it will look great once we finish. So we're just going to change every x position into an x. So this will make it so every x position is um, 200. But we can change that in a bit. Once this is done, we'll be able to move our entire person with one, with one value. So make sure you're getting every x, because because in some they have like multiple x's, like line and triangle. Like see, there's an x1 and x2. Now for triangle, there's three x's. I'm just gonna move it. Now, as you can see here, it looks really weird right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the body. So we're just going to add here where there's an x, we're just going to do minus 50. Boom, and now it's back in the same place. So for the lines, what we're going to do, well for the arms, we're going to do plus 100 on this side, and plus 50. See, now our arm's back. Let's do that on the other side, but with minus 50 and plus 100. See, now our arms are back. Now for the legs, um, we're gonna go plus 40 and plus 40. And also minus 40 and minus 40. Our head, arms, body, and legs are back. And what we're going to do now for the eyes is for the eyes, um, we're just going to go plus 30 for the pupils and plus 30 for the eyes. Now we're going to move this to 20. Now it looks like that. The tricky part about variables is figuring out what like the plus stuff. Okay, now we got one eye. Let's do the other. Ones. This one's actually minus 30. Maybe we'll move it a little bit more. Looks good. So now what we're gonna do is the mouth. The mouth for the arc is just minus one, and for the line here, we are going to be doing minus twenty and then plus seventeen. There. And we can 
change this to 34. And we can move these around. There. Now, let's do the triangle. For the triangle, it's plus 84. Plus 71. Plus 51. There, our triangle is back. Now for the ellipse, we're going to go plus 127. And for the text, we go plus 98. There we go. We're all, we're all back to normal. But now when we move bar X, our entire character moves. Yay! So, you can do... The cool thing about variables is you can use this for colors, you can use this for the y variable, you can use this for the width variable, you can you can use it for the height variable, you can use it for any variable. So that's the cool thing about variables. I encourage you guys to try this. And thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe like he says. And have a great day. Bye!